um, welcome back to Get Me a Library. So this is something very different and I haven't started to do this and I haven't done this before. It's an unboxing for a box which has nothing to do with books. But I really, really like this box. I tried it out last month and I really, really enjoyed it. And it does kind of have a thing to do with books for me because of what the box is about. And I love that kind of thing in books. You'll know what I mean in a second. Um, so I've decided to kind of upload once a month an unboxing of what I get in this box as well. Because I do the same thing on my YouTube channel. I do my paper gang on there as well. But I'm not really going to be doing that on this because you only get like a few things. And it's kind of like a really, really short video. So I might do it if you guys want me to then I don't mind doing that. Um, but because I don't have like a lot of time to sit and to do it and sometimes I get it in, a, in the post like today was a perfect day to get the packages and do a video for you but sometimes it doesn't always work out like that sometimes you have to wait a few days and then I just kind of want to open it and then I run out of time and whatever so this is going to be something that I'm going to be doing every month as well I'm going to have a playlist that's going to be separate to it um, because I don't want you to you know hate me for it um, <laughs> because it is just about books my channel and book related stuff and this mm, doesn't really have anything to do with books so yeah um, it's not going to be posted every Wednesday it's just going to be whatever ever day is around for when I do it preferably a Saturday um, because then I can kind of keep the things separately so that then we don't get confused because I don't want every Wednesday you guys to be getting notifications or to think oh she's uploaded a video and it have nothing to do with books and that's not something that I want you to have so this is going to be on like a Saturday so this is called Witch Casket and it is for witches and I'm a witch woohoo Ravenclaw this is why it's got something slightly to do with books because I love books that have got something to do with magic in them like obviously and other things like that like Lord of the Rings and you know vice versa whatever so this is my book subscription my book this is my subscription box with witch casket so I didn't open last month's that was called about that was about self-love they don't tell you what the box is going to be about obviously it's about witches and spells and candles and things like that but it's not doesn't have a theme so you don't ever know what it's going to be about so this one I have no idea but as usual it smells nice so this is something that I'm gonna be doing now because I'm gonna be getting it every month so I'm going to open it for you and you're gonna see what's inside ah. right okay so I haven't opened it yet it comes in a grey bag from the postman with my address on it so I've literally just opened it up for you now because it's something I need to open um, and then inside you get one of these boxes that says which casket so let's open it and find out what's inside so I really wanted to start doing this because last month I loved it so much and I really want to show you what's inside it better than just pictures so you can actually see what some of the things are because in pictures you can't always show what something does and also some things don't stay still and they move so it's hard to take photos of them so I thought I'd do an unboxing if you don't like it that's fine um, it's not something for you to just like it's up to you it's just to show you what I get each month um, I know that last month I did lots of unboxings for different book box clubs and things like that like once upon a time and fairy loop and although i have a fairy loop box coming in march which i will be showing you that's it it's just back to book box club witch casket and paper gown because i don't have enough money to be doing loads of book box clubs and things so witch casket is ready to be opened as usual something dropped which is fine it's just the witch casket card but um you get to see what's inside i always find this one's a little bit harder because it's always with different things but yes so he's got brown paper this time okay so you get a card that says witch casket and it basically just says to you we love if you could spread the word of sharing pictures of your casket and goodies on social media so this is what i'm doing so it has them um, their details at the back so i love the card really really cool okay so then we get on the back it tells you what's inside the box and on the front it has a letter so i'll read you what the letter says in march we welcome the spring and to honour this glorious season of rebirth and renewal, March, March's, witch, March's Witch Casket focuses on herbs, flowers, plants and the power of the earth. And with so much spring cleaning going on, we haven't forgotten that freshly cleaned spaces always benefit from a little protection. Remember to read the enclosed list of contents so you can familiarise yourself with this month's themes, this month's, month's items, sorry, and our specially selected supplies. So many of you have been tagging your wonderful creative posts on social media and we love that. 
It's amazing to see your beautiful magical spaces and faces and to see your witch cast tips items in use. As always, if you have any questions or comments, email us with your feedback. We love to hear from you. Until the next time, be well, Deb and Ella. Now they're mother and daughter, so I think that's really nice. Okay, so you get one of these cards. See, I can say these things now because I got it last month, so I can say what you actually get. So you get one of these cards, and this is by Tea Cake Art, and they're so good. So this is a hand with roses, and there's a moon in the background. She's got acorns around her wrist, some herbs, and some clouds. And like I said, it was about self-love, so we got a card there as well. So I haven't done a box opening with you guys before, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. Normally with my things I read the back of the ingredients as well, but I'm going to keep this close by I'm going to refer back to it just in case I don't know what the ingredients are. Because as you know I'm new to this, so there are probably some things that people have been getting quite frequently that they know what they're about, I don't. Okay so they have some tissue paper inside. Now everything in here is vegan friendly and recyclable as well. And if they cannot do something recyclable, I have heard someone say this before, that they will tell you that it's not, but they do try their hardest to make everything recyclable. And I've noticed that a lot of the things that I've got, I was able to use the bags again for other things. So this is inside. So excited. I really, really was so impressed with this box when I got it last month, so I'm really impressed to show you guys. So we have a necklace from Curiology. So that's, that's this. And every month it seems that they get Curology to do a necklace for them. So this is going to be on the back of the ingredients because I'm just going to show you what the actual necklace is about. So I'm really going to try not to see what's inside. Um, so this is an Earth Element necklace by Curiology. I was able to see what was inside without actually knowing things. So these are really lovely and they seem to look the same so they're not really any different but the colours and the ribbons are different and also the pendant will be different. So last month it was obviously self love and that was a purpley kind of colour so this one is the browns for nature and I really like this. I haven't worn one yet and I need to because it was kind of like I got so many subscription boxes last month that I didn't know what to do with them all so now I'm kind of like down to just the two so I know what I'm going to do. Okay, the next thing that we have is a black banded onyx. So this is a crystal. I like crystals and because I'm getting this every month now, I need to buy some sort of way to hang up my necklaces and a place to put my crystals. Um, so the black banded, and banded onyx is seen as a strength given stone which can help people under extreme mental and emotional stress by bringing balance to mind and body. It can help to ground you and focus your attention. Black banded onyx is believed to aid in healing long standing grief and easing loneliness, making you feel loved and protected. And a lot of people don't think that these things work. And like, I'm not one of those things that overdoes stuff like Chinese medicine. I don't really like all that because I know what they use with like animals. Um, but these things, I think that if you believe something's working, your mind can allow you to have it work. Like. Last month with the self-love, I was just holding it in my hand and I felt calmer and a bit more relaxed. So these things, even if you don't believe in what they actually do, they do help just to believe that it does, if that makes sense. Okay, so in here it's golden apple spice loose green tea. Oh my god, that smells amazing. That really does. That smells really, really nice. So last month we got tea as well, so maybe it's a thing that you get every month. I'm not sure. We won't be able to know until next month, but I, I think you do. There's so much to choose from. Okay, so witch casket wind chimes. So wind chimes have long since believed to repel negativity and protect against spiteful supernatural influences. They are known for their soothing, meditative and sometimes earthly sounds. I really love wind chimes. I don't think I have any, or I've ever had any. I know I don't have any at the moment, but I'm looking forward to putting these in my garden. And obviously that hangs lower. I'm not gonna get it all out just at the moment because I need to know where to put it. But I like that. I like that a lot. And it's gonna be great to annoy the neighbors. <laughs> That's me. But, uh, yeah, I do love wind chimes. 
Okay, what else? I love these bags. So far I'm putting my crystals in these bags. So this says protected by magic. And it's the badge and it's nice in a nice bag. So that's where my crystals are gonna go. We have another bag. Now this has got a leaf, which looks like the top of a spoon. So I'm gonna go back to this. I really don't wanna see what's in the rest. Okay, I'm not gonna look because I'm looking at things that I haven't even opened yet. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. Then I'm gonna go back to the card and show you what each item is. I think that'd be better for both of us because I'm spending too long sitting there looking at what it's about. Okay, we have some incense stinks, uh, stinks, sticks, which I got last month as well. So again, that's something that I think that you get every month. So this one is called happiness. Light the incense, affirm, as, as I embrace joy is all I see. Many happy blessings follow me. Mmm, that smells really nice. I don't, it doesn't say what the smell is. But the ones that I got last time were relaxation ones and they smell really nice as well. So these ones, it should sell on the card. I love the colours to this. I really, really do. Okay, so this says forget-me-nots, confidence, tranquility. What was the plant? Grow your own magic. It's got some seeds and some soil. So we'll go back to the card in a second to find out what kind of plant it is. We have a scroll. I must say this whole box smells incredible. So herbs, flowers and plants in magic. Herbs, flowers and plants hold the earth's energy within them. So they are bursting with magical powers. They have many uses. You can add them to charms and spell bags, scatter them around your magical space or altar, make incense with them, add them to potions or ritual baths. Their use is endless. Growing your own herbs and plants. And flowers can, can further enhance their magical properties as you can infuse them with your own will and intent as you nurture them. You can preserve any plants, flowers or herbs or grow them for future spells and rituals by drying them. To do this, hang them upside down in a dark, dry area with good ventilation. Nowhere too cold or damp. Leave them there for, a long, for as long as it takes for them to completely dry out. This can take several weeks. If you are collecting leaves from the outdoors to dry, be sure that you harvest them when they are dry. Not after a rain shower or the early morning dew, and never remove more than one third of the plants, since you want to allow the plants to survive and regenerate, like Doctor Who. Growing and drying your own magical supplies can be cost effective and very rewarding experience. I like that, but they do a little scroll that tells you a little bit about what you can do that relates to that kind of magic. Like, honestly, this box is so nice, and the girls are so friendly. Um, because what you do is you do like a monthly subscription you can cancel it and it's all through paypal and something went wrong with their paypal last month so it kind of refunded you straight away um or the next day and the girls were so lovely and, like and friendly and they didn't really know too much and when i told them about it they were like you know really sorry about this they were so friendly and so nice and they're, they're great to contact and they replied within like i think it was a day and that's really good because some places it's like three or four days it just takes forever i have some candles Mm. I kind of smell like crayon. I don't know if that's like the type of wax. I think there may be two more things. So witch casket, purification and protection herb blend. Herbs hold the earth's energy within them, so they're bursting with magical power. They have many uses. You can add them to charms and spell bags, scatter them around your magical space or altar, make incense with them or add them to potions or ritual baths. Their uses are endless. So I'll open the packet for you in a minute. And finally, this. It's a protection rune altar tile. The Algot's rune symbolises protection in all of its forms, keeping negative energies away from your magical space. Altar tiles can be used as a focal point, drawing energy onto an altar. So let's open and I can show you what it is. That's cool. <laughs> it's really cool. Okay, so that's what I got in my witch casket. So let's go back to the card to show you what was actually inside with the proper terms. So a witch casket inclusive scroll, so that's what I showed you. 
the Earth Element Necklace by Curiology, again, which I've already showed you. The Purification and Protection Herb Blend. So it includes chamomile, peppermint, basil and sage. The Witch Cassie Occlusive Protected by Magic Badge, again I showed you. A Grow Your Own Magic Pot. So that's this. So place a soil tablet in 30 millilitres of warm water to produce a 60 cc of compost. Fill the pot with compost, sow the seeds, just blend the surface water regularly. When large enough to handle, transplant into a larger pot or in garden. It doesn't say what flower or plant it is, but that's uh, going to be a surprise. <laughs> um, the Protection Altar Tile, which I just showed you. The Tea Cake Art, the Happiness Incense Sticks, Wild Charms, Golden Apple Loose Leaf Tea, a Black Blanded banded onyx tumble stone and info card the brown and black through colorful spell candles hand carved wooden herb scoop so all the spells and rituals are created by practicing witch exclusive for witch casket you can visit the months of selected suppliers here and it also says to like tag them so this is a recycling thing i was telling you about please reuse or recycle all packaging did you know that the organised bags we use in our packaging make for great charms or spell bags? Proud to be vegan friendly. So that's what I was saying about them being vegan friendly. So that's what I got in my witch casket box. I absolutely love it. And when you think about all the things that you get, it is actually worth the money. And also it includes packaging and stuff as well. So that's all in there. And this is, it's not a heavy, heavy box. But it is like a big box. So you can't just post it in someone's letterbox. You have to actually knock on the door. So yeah but yes i'm really happy with it so i hope you guys like this video let me know down below with thumbs up and everything you did and yeah i'll see you guys next week bye <laughs>